know what I just heard. So I know this guy that used to be married. And I mean used to be. Cause honey child, his ex-wife. Let me tell you what she did. She was always really big on girls trips. Even though she had like two or three kids. But you know what they say. Mama gotta have a life too. So one day she was at work and he was home with the kids. Now, if you have an iPhone, you know that you can sync your text messages everywhere. Child, she had him synced to the Apple Watch, the iPad, the computer, and to the phone. Well, this day, she left the iPad at home and forgot. Hey, next up, man. Man, we just got girls trips, but think about me, bro, I'm married, but my wife already know that ain't happening. We don't do the girl trip thing. When we go on trips, we go on trips together. You hear me? We'll do all that, bro. <laughs> Bro, y'all let me know in the comments if you let your girl go on girls' trips. But me, me and my wife, we travel. When we travel, we majority of the time we travel together. You feel me? Ain't no girls' trips. It's, you feel me? We both going together. You hear me? But y'all tell me in the comments there what y'all think about y'all girl going on girls' trips, man. But the way these stories be sounding be wild. But my wife ain't never requested to go on a girls' trip, to tell you the truth. She never was like, hey, honey, I'm finna go on a girls' trip to my... She never. You feel me? So... And then, like, majority of her friend, like, one, her other friend is married. Her best friend, because she don't have a lot of friends. So, but the friend that she got, both of them are married. So, that's a, that's a good sign when you're with a woman and her friends are married. But if you got a woman and you with her and all her friends are just single, come on, bro. But, yeah, all my girlfriends is married. You feel me? And I don't do no. And they, and they, boy, I know they boyfriends and they ain't lying on that. You hear me? But, um. Before we get into the video, man, I'm about to drop 10 of these hats, man. Only 10 will ever be made, man. I'm new on this channel, so I just want to see if I got 10 true supporters, man. I've been doing this for like a month, a month and some change, man. But I want to see if I got 10 true supporters. If you get one of these hats, you'll be the only one to ever have this drop, bro. This is the first drop ever, bro. The only saint, like, this color and this saint will never be made again, so you'll be the first one. So if I got 10 true supporters who will support it when I drop it, Put a one in the comments, man. When I get enough ones, I'm dropping it, man. Let's get into the video, 200 family. The text messages were sent. So it's the middle of the day. And all he's hearing from downstairs is bing, 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 bing. Since the kids were down for a nap, he decided to go turn the iPad off. He gets to the room and picks up the iPad. And he said, like, he kind of chuckled because he's like, oh, yeah, the girls going in. You know, they just got back from the girls' trip. They must be sharing their experiences. But he said, as he looked a little deeper, I don't know what that means. He started reading them text messages. He started seeing oh, how the girls were talking about all the eggplant they had just gotten on that previous weekend. As he reads the text messages, he's wow. like, oh, it's such and such saying this. And it's such and such saying that. My wife ain't even commented. But then he went deeper. Come to find out, his wife is the ringleader. She started the whole text thread. <laughs> no. She was talking about legs here, legs there, threesomes. Horses. So now curiosity has got him by the gong. He decides to explain. Wait, bro, if you find out your girl's having a whole orgy, my boy, what you gonna do? Let me know in the comment, bro. Tell me what y'all gonna do, bro. What are y'all gonna do? You find out your girl had a whole orgy on the girl's trip, bro. Lord. Explore. He opens up the Facebook. He opens up the Instagram. Come to find out she had a plenty of fish. And a Tinder. And there were messages upon messages yeah. upon Everything. messages of her infidelity. I mean, she was telling people she ain't want him. How he had a little pimping. She was even talking about how she didn't want her kid. What the kids do? So you know me. What I asked, what did she do when you confronted her? He didn't. He packed up his kid, went to his mama's house, and filed for divorce. Apparently, she didn't know any of this until they got to court where he won full custody, alimony, and child support. Oh, 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 guess what? Come to find out, one of the kids ain't even his. It's a friend of a close friend. But he takes care of all the kids, he has a new woman, and he's about to get remarried. Goes to show you, men aren't the only dogs out here in this world, child. Have a good day. Let me. Wait, I'm gonna tell you this, but I think that was the most, the best response he can get. If he ain't do no, he ain't argue with her. It wasn't no, um, I'm about to go and confront her. It wasn't none of that. It was just, oh, I see who you is. I'm out. Wasn't no arguing. Because what was she going to say? I'm sorry, baby. What was she going to, like, you know, the security, you know, she's going to go down the, down the, the, uh, uh, the hole of lies. 
But instead of all that, he just said, oh, this who she is? All right, let me do it. We're handling court. Give me another woman. Boom. No argument, no nothing. I think that's the best way to handle it. Your girl ahead doing all the bro. Because he ain't know who he was with. But finally, when she revealed to him who she was, he was like, oh, he took her for that. Like, oh, that's who you are. Let me just dip and get out of here <laughs> real quick. You feel me? Went and got custody of his kids. And you feel me? We got a, got a new girl. Let her leave her to the streets, man. Best response you could ever do, man, for real. Let's go to the next one. Story time. I went on my first uh, girls trip, what I thought was a girls trip. Uh, this girl that I've known forever was like, hey, pay for your hotel room, pay for your flight. Let's go. Cool. Let's do it. Um, I go. Fly on a plane. Get there. She picks me up in some dude's car. Um, she said there was a friend that was going to be there, but he was just going to kind of, you know, not really be around us a whole lot. Just kind of hang out, say hi. No. She used me as an alibi to cheat on her husband. They shared a room. He was there the entire time. I was the third wheel. It was so awkward. I even said something to her about it, and it just went right over her head. She didn't care. Um, I ended up coming home early. Um... And I told her husband, did I do the right thing? Would you have done that? Did I? I so y'all tell me if she done the right thing. But I know this. If she had told me, what if I'm in the I'm in the blind, you feel me? And my girl like here's just going crazy. And she came back and told me, but she just blessed me. So I think she did the right thing by telling the boy, you feel me? She was she was real for that. Well, y'all think she did the right thing, man? Come on, bro. These people I are here crazy. I would want someone to tell me. 100%. What would you have done? I would have done the same thing. My wife recently returned from a girl's trip to Costa Rica. I overheard her on the phone saying to her girlfriend, I haven't told him about that part yet. And so I asked her, what the hell was she talking about? At first, she tried to shut me down by saying that I had no business eavesdropping on her conversation. And she refused to say anything further about, to me about it. But I didn't let it go. And she told me that she had a naked massage while she was in Costa Rica and it included a happy ending. I feel as though this is a form of cheating. I a form of cheating? Nigga, that, that is cheating. <laughs> what are you talking about? You let somebody play with your private parts, but you say that's a form of cheating. But what's wrong with y'all, man? Y'all got to call a spade a spade, bro. That's cheating. And first of all, I didn't even know that was a thing for females. I, ain't, I thought that was a thing males got happy in it. I didn't even know females got that. No lie. I ain't even capping. I swear I didn't know that, but learn something new every day, man. Let's keep it going. I feel like she violated our marriage vows, but I'm not sure if it's really considered cheating or being unfaithful it's to me. It's cheating, bro. I did my research, and there are facilities in Costa Rica that allow you to receive massages with happy endings for both women and men. I asked her how she would feel if I did that, and she said she would be okay with it if I was on vacation and got a massage. I don't believe her, though. I feel a way, and I can't shake it. My wife shouldn't be having anyone else other than me or her own self rubbing on her P-U-S-S-Y. I didn't want to say it, but that's what he wrote. I say that it's cheating. So what is cheating? Is getting a happy ending massage cheating? Is going out to lunch with a coworker cheating? Is flirting through text, but not having sex with them, is that cheating? When we get into relationships, the most dialogue that we have about cheating is, don't do it. And then oftentimes somebody will cheat or cross a boundary and you start hearing the excuses. I didn't sleep with them, that's not cheating. What do you mean cheating, it was just lunch. Or like in this situation, it was just a massage. So then what is cheating? I love Esther Perel's definition. Cheating requires three different key components. Number one, secrecy. Number two, an emotional connection of some sort. Number three, some sort of sexual chemistry. So what is cheating to you? If your partner is overly flirtatious with texting, but doesn't sleep with them, is that cheating? What if your partner creates an online profile on a dating site? Comment down below, what's your definition of cheating? Bro, all of that is cheating, my boy. If your girl tell you she's going to Jamaica, what do you think? Whole thinking? point, all of it's cheating. <laughs> She f yeah, immediately. Uh, uh, off the as soon as she touched down. So she's not bringing him. Nah, girl yeah, trip. Yeah, yo, girl trip. Girl trip to Jamaica. Yeah.
I ain't even gonna cap, bro. I got a, a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Woman, bro. She be out the country more than anybody I know. Married with kids. My boy. She don't even allow her husband to go. She go by herself. By herself. She be in every country, my boy. Every, like, I'm talking about everywhere, man. Everywhere. You already know what I think about the situation. I'm like, she don't let her husband go at all. Even if her husband want to go, she be like, no, you're not going. I'm going by myself. She straight, straight up. Y'all tell me what's going on. I ain't even going to say nothing about the situation. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me what's going on. She, but she be out the country more than me and my wife. Me and my wife go, on, go out the country probably twice a week, year. She be out more than that. Out the country. But she go by herself, bro. All her trips by herself. Everyone, like, y'all tell me what's going on. That's how to cut, that's how to cut that out. Girl, girl trip to where? Jamaica. Did she need to take a girl trip to fucking Lakewood Lane? Lakewood, nigga. Lakewood. <laughs> If your girl tell you she's going to Jamaica, what are you thinking? This is how I found out my ex-boyfriend was cheating on me for three consecutive years. I used to go on a lot of vacations and, like, you know, traveled a lot. With, I was fortunate enough to do that. So, like, I've seen, like, some stuff that, like, wouldn't, like, most, most, <laughs> I've seen women do some things that, like, their boyfriends at home would not be okay with, you know? Yeah. Like, it would just, and it's like, you know, as long as it doesn't like, I, as long as it happens over here, I'm good with it. And then they go back to their boyfriends and be perfectly fine with like, it. I used to go on a lot of vacations and like, you know, travel. Okay, if you thought my other story time was juicy, wait till I tell you guys about what happened to my friend on our summer girls trip. So girls trip we're in trip. Greece and we're doing a boat tour. The morning of, we meet up and we meet a couple of these guys. One of them is really interested in my friend, Sarah, and he isn't on our boat. So the day continues and we stop at an island and on that island, on a rock in the water, is the guy that was interested in Sarah in the morning. And we hear as we're like jumping off the boat, someone goes, Sarah, all the way across in the water. So Sarah swims over, it's very cute, they're chatting. He takes her Instagram and like rushes back to the boat to follow her. And our day continues. Sarah checks her DM requests and sees a message from a woman. And the message basically says, I'm so embarrassed to be messaging you this, but the guy that followed you recently is my boyfriend and he's been doing this. And I just need to know like, what's going on? Like, are you guys friends? Are you guys more than friends? He's not talking to me. Immediately, my gut reaction is that's a red flag. But Sarah, being a bit more, I guess, pragmatic, says, well, I have no idea who this woman is. She could be lying. And I also don't know who this guy is, so I don't want to just get involved and start judging him. We've barely spoken. When we got back to the island, Sarah was pretty sick, so she didn't come to dinner. And this guy ended up coming and bringing her medication, food. I don't think she was sick. She was acting like she was sick. You feel me? <laughs> hey. You feel me? So she wouldn't have to go. Forgot to mention, he was also Greek. So he's very familiar with everything. And during that conversation, she confronted him and said, like, what's going on? This is the DM that I got. He tells her, I'm really sorry. I'm really embarrassed. But I broke up with this girl months ago. And she has been harassing me since and refuses to move on. When Sarah tells this guy that we're going to another Greek island where he is originally from and his family there and has a house there, he changes his plans and buys a ticket to join Sarah and me and my friend for the two or three days that we're at this island. Mind you, he met her the day of. Fast forward, we're on this island. This guy pulls up in a really nice Range Rover, picks us up, plans dinner. We're at the restaurant and me and my friend, you know, Sarah's an adult woman. Like we, we can't necessarily tell her what to do or what not to do. So we're just trying to have a good time. And this is where it gets juicy. So I got, I got to have to do part two. What? Okay, Man, bro. My... All right, bro. If y'all want to see part two, let me know in the comments, bro. But hey, 200 family, bro. Thank you guys for watching the video. Man, see you got in the video. Let's get it.